Hey, hey, math people, what's the difference between slope intercept and point slope? It sounds like you're just saying a bunch of random mathy words and calling it a thing. Uh, the names are very intentional. They mean something. Let me break this down for you. Slope and an intercept. When you happen to have a slope and a y-intercept, your go-to form should be slope intercept. It's in the name. This is the guy. When you have a point and a slope, so a random point, not a y-intercept, a totally, utterly random point, and the slope, it's best to go into point-slope. That's the general breakdown. The TLDR rundown, when you have the y-intercept, do this thing. When you don't have the y-intercept, do this thing. Let me prove to you this notion. Uh, I want my red pen here, too. So, slope-intercept here. Uh, I have this line. Uh, it goes up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1. That means that the slope is 2. Okay, moving forward. Uh, we can use 2 for both of these slopes. I'm going to write this down. I'm going to write y is equal to... Uh, okay, there's that 2. And then x, well, plus b. What's my y-intercept in this whole mess? It's when I cross the y-axis. I cross right here at 0, 4. So we can just end this problem with plus 4. This equation is 2x plus 4 in slope intercept. But let's pretend for a moment we didn't have this 0, 4. Just like that, it's gone. And I want to play around with 1, 6, or 2, 8, or 3, 10, or negative 1, 2 instead. And I'm actually going to turn through all these, but let's just do one of them. Uh, here I have y is equal to, okay, here I have the 2 for the slope. And uh, the way that this works, you would write in parentheses x minus whatever x sub 1 is, let's do 1 comma 6. So this is my x sub 1, and this is my y sub 1, so this will be my 1 right here. And this will be my 6 right here. Okay, I can do that with the other three points as well. So actually, how about you do that? Pause the video right now, practice writing in this form with the other three points. 3, 2, 1. Okay, so going through the motion, you would have got these three other forms. Now, I'm about to blow your mind. All four of these things are the same thing. They're actually all simplified to this expression right here, and I can prove it to you. If you distribute in this two, you get 2x minus 2 plus 6. Hey, would you look at that? Negative 2 plus 6, uh, 2x plus 4. Same thing. Distribute in this two. 2x minus 4 plus 8. 2x... Uh, plus 4, <laughs> same thing. Distribute in this too. 2x minus 6 plus 10. 2x plus 4. Are you tired yet? Oh, I forgot this too. Yikes. There's a 2 there. Distribute in this too. Uh, something small worth noting, you're subtracting off a negative, so it's the same thing as a positive, right? So it would be 2 uh, times the quantity of x plus 1 plus 2. 2x plus 2 plus 2. Hey, it's the same thing. Point being, when you simplify point slope, you get to slope intercept. Say that three times fast. Difference between them, y-intercept, random point. Please continue to math on. I'll do the same. I'll see you in the next video.